Smoke Who we got? We got Judith. We got Chupk. We got Eve. I think that's it. Um, let's go ahead and do Judith's run. We already did Boss Rush as Judith. Oh yeah, because we got... Was it Guillotine? Yeah, it was Guillotine. This might be the end of our win streak if we get a bad champion enemy. Touches us, we're dead. I think I just pop it. It's a three room recharge. Are we on seller, by the way? So, I hate, I feel like it's been so long since we've been Judas. Which one are you? Are you. Yeah, I don't like you. You actually. You are actually a DPS decrease. Alright. I'm not the biggest fan of concussive tears, actually. We have no bombs. I wish we did. But we don't. Tough room. This is basement, so no chance of the ghost. Did I get that? I hope it does. Excellent. We're in a better place. Uh, I, for those of you wondering, normally I know I don't take... Uh, the spirit heart on the first floor because I always say you should save it so that you can get that deal with the devil, but I mean, let's just be realistic guys. You got one heart, you probably should pick up a spirit heart. This is a big floor. Uh, just we already have a spirit heart, so we might as well go get more. Anyway. Fuck it. Fuck it! I'm not taking him. We have the reroll room, there's a slim chance we'll get it. Okay. And as is typical for Judas, we will not be getting an HP upgrade on our first floor. Oh, this is normal, uh. This is normal. Fam. So he's not gonna be supercharged. Wrecked. Uh, off my Chichi train. And we're going for the meat boy. Uh, we still have more floor to explore, and we already have boss rush, so the need for speed indeed. Uh, don't touch that. I'm not even joking when I say we really could get the reroll room. It's not impossible at all. Okay, no. There, there were doors up here. But what I always love is Judas, is as long as you can get that starting HP, your life's not so bad. Mm. Mm. Oh, and my actual, or my main, uh, thing. My main file, I finally filled up the shop. Or the, uh, the donation machine. We've, I've been much better about it with you guys watching. I think there's a lot of times when I'm playing by myself that I don't really care. Uh, you know, I'm actually, I'm not actually that alright with that. But I'm not that upset. Because we do get to blow up that other tinted rock. Get this one. Oh, we got a key out of it too. Uh, I'm only doing this because we might get a crawl space out of it, and we're not really losing anything. Those who are wondering why I'm bothering to spend my time doing this, it's slim, but the chance does exist, and so that's a chance I'm willing to take. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking Bob's Brain. I'm sorry, all you hardcore Bob's Brain fans. I know you start printing out your T-shirts and everything. But I hate Bob's brain so goddamn much. Every time I see an item, I always think it's just gonna either be Mask or uh, Cricket's head, and then it's always fucking Bigly Bob's brain. All right, we got our cellar, so that leads me to believe our boss will be uh, the Haunt, but then it'll actually be Pin. I think that's our standard go-to. Um, I haven't really said anything about Cuban Meat. I like Cuban Meat. It's good. I like all of those. Cuban meat. We haven't even gotten a three yet. But Cuban meat's an interesting beast. Because I honestly think most of the time you're better off with just two. Like you're better off with half of it than you are with three. Or, I mean, if you're gonna have three, but you want four of it. But you would still just rather have two. Is that inner ice or triple shot? 
solid damage upgrade. I actually really like, I, I don't know if I would say I like triple shot more than quad shot, but I always feel like the tears penalty for triple shot, even if there is one, isn't nearly as severe as the one for quad shot. Plus, come on guys, let's level each other. First of all, oh my god, that could have been terrible. I could have died. Uh, I was saying. But, like, when you get quads, I always feel like you shoot tears so slow. But, I don't even know if there is a tears down associated with triple shot. I mean, maybe. It makes sense. I would not be surprised. No, we got the long. Oh, I need to not be where I'm standing. What Pisces? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's not even fair. There was nothing I could do about that. Oh, he's, uh, he's dizzy. Just gonna try to like I mean, I knew I was in a bad spot. Ah. Stop it! I don't even know why you're doing that. There he goes. HP. Spoon! Uh, we want nine limes. I'm alright with this. Yeah. Uh-uh. Ain't alright with that. Eh. Eh. Alright, thank you for your time. So up on our floor. Blood bank. What do we got in here? One heart. See. I have a bomb. I could look for my secret room. But I don't even know where the fuck it would be, because it's not a good spot. So we can play our blood bank once. Got a penny. Uh, we can play our blood bank twice. I'm trying to get that HP upgrade out of it. Got another half heart. Thank you, slot machine. We got the blood bag. There you go. And thank you to the world's most supportive goddamn, uh, what's it called? Slot machine. Jesus Christ. Kynorse. Wait a minute. Now, wait a second. This can't have it. I'm actually going to go for this. I think our super super room is right here. Yep. Thanks. So that's uh, three troll bombs on this floor for those who keeping track. Now I almost walked on those spikes. There's no reason to go back in there. So we got an HP upgrade and a speed upgrade and an HP, or we got an HP upgrade, speed upgrade, and a speed upgrade. Copy it. This is what I drink. So in true Judas fashion, we will proceed to not get any HP for the run. Is this catacombs? Yep. Could get in the spirit heart. Uh, fuck this. Oh, I can't use book yet. Back off. Back off. Got that triple shot. I will say, I actually don't like triple shot or quad shot with brimstone. I don't feel like you get enough damage out of it for how much slower. Actually, with triple shot, I don't even know if... Did that really hit me? I'm sorry, I did not think that hit me at all. Oh my god. They're not even trying to fight. They're just trying to make this take forever. And there was one. At least now we can take a deal with the devil without dying. Let's do the big one. Well, I got, yeah, we're gonna. There's something over there, I saw it. So I'm gonna wager that they can't kill me. You held down. Good luck up. I like you. And our item room contains the magnet. I guess. I can't think of a reason to not take the magnet. It's not like. Actually, I guess its only problem is uh, regular troll bombs will become super troll bombs because they will chase you. That was bull. No battery.
Need a bomb. Stark Reddit. I don't recall if we've had store credit before. I, I don't think so. I think we just unlocked it. But it allows us to buy one thing. And we're getting two pieces of meat. I can not die. But we did luck out. We got Pestilence who doesn't do the annoying thing. He just spawns spiders. Which is probably worse than the... Hey. But he stands no chance against the Saiyan Lord. Triple shot. There's our second key of meat. What do you got this time? Uh, Sin Hood, I think, is a definite. Yes. Okay, so note to self that the store credit does not work on the deal with the devil, unlike the credit card, which does work on the deal with the devil. I probably shouldn't have picked that up, because who knows what our shop has. It could have something really good. I, I was, for some reason, thinking we had the D6. Or if you're wondering why I was trying to avoid that battery. Whereas, like, anyone with the... I need to not get hit by that. I was very focused on that spider. Okay, well, there's the key we needed. I'm just gonna pop it, because who gives a shit? It's probably why I like the Book of Belial so much. It's for a damage-boosting, like, uh, one-room item. It's such a fast charge. Amnesia. So the first thing we buy would be completely free, and it'll use up our store credit. We're gonna get the double bomb. So that's pretty much it for store credit. There's no real tricks to the trade, it's just one thing for free. And I honestly recommend using it as soon as you get it. Even if your shop isn't that good, just because there's better trinkets and you don't want to give up on like cancer or the horn just because, oh, well, I could get a free shop item later. I mean, if your shop is like really, really bad, I might consider it, but I mean, most of the shop items are not that bad. I don't mean most of the shop items aren't bad. I have no bombs. It's actually one of the reasons I took the double bomb thing is so when we get bombs, we get two bombs because it seems like this is a run where bombs are the way to go. Well, we cannot open that chest, and I have no money for bombs. We went this way? Yeah, we went this way. Alright, well, we'll just go. I would say Sin Hood was a good get. Uh, we got more HP than we had, which is, I think, all we really wanted. And hopefully the next floor we can get some bombs. Time for some coffee. I'm just trying to play a lot of Isaac before, um, what's it called, before the Afterbirth comes out, because, you know, I, I'm kind of afraid it'll be like when Rebirth came out with regular Isaac. It's just something that you'll never see again. I mean, I could go back and play some more old Isaac, but it doesn't work on pills? Okay. I thought it worked on everything. Learn something every day. I mean, honestly, at this point, like, this game just has so many huge benefits of regular Isaac. I don't just mean it's better, even though I would say it's better. It is, it's also easier. Although, I think he's looking to fix that. I know it doesn't do trouble bombs anymore. Okay. I need to move. I said that guy should definitely die, because I pushed him back on the spike. Boss is dead, y'all. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, maybe sometime for fun. As long as I can record it. I'll do some runs of the Binding Isaac. But Suicide King, hey? I really need to remember to not accidentally hit, uh... If we can get an extra life, Suicide King is very fun. But for now, let's just drop it. Because I don't want to accidentally use it. Our boss is the hollow. I was gonna say shit, we're not gonna get our meat boy, but I remembered that we already have meat boy. For the stage two. So Book of Revelations would be greatly appreciated. I would actually give I would sacrifice the run for a Book of Revelations right now. Cause I don't even think we have conquest yet. So I don't know if we can ruin it. Uh, we're not gonna touch the experimental treatment. By the by. Um I don't want little brimstone.
but I will take Fear Shot. And now, because I'm feeling lucky, I am going to take Experimental Treatment. We gained no HP. Did it do anything? I don't know. Probably should look at our stats. I don't know. Let's leave the room. Okay, our shot speed definitely went up. Our damage may have gone down a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Uh, so right now, nine lives would be very welcome. Uh, I don't care if we have to get it through a curse room or super lust. Either one is fine. I would just really like nine lives so I can use that suicide king. Because I, of course, I want to show you guys the suicide king because it's actually a really good card. But if you can't live. I'm not gonna die just so I can go, oh, look what we would have gotten if we didn't die to the Suicide King. One sec. What's a turn about? Come here, my precious. No, we'll open it. Pop this. I'll say we actually have very good items for making guys not fuck with us because we have the, uh, the concussion, the fear. It's actually a really good combination. I'm running around waiting for him to jump. Yep. I'm waiting for him to jump. Alright, he chose not to jump. I will say I am not the biggest fan of I think he spawned to the side because I was where he was supposed to be. So I was say, you know, our damage is actually like fantastic, but then I remembered I popped Book of the Lot, and that would always make your damage fantastic. Ugh. I don't like this room. Oh, there's nothing I could do. My options were like walk on the spike or get hit. At least in my mind they were. And we've decided to hold off on finding our item room and shop for as long as possible. Uh, it's a classic technique. I almost walked into them. I almost like gave them free damage. But instead I decided to let the fly have it. I'm just popping the book as I can. For those of you wondering why, uh, there's no rhyme, there's no reason. We got a battery out of this, so I am going to hold off on the battery in case I like what's in here. It's Brother Bobby. It's nothing worth fantasizing about. Uh, I'm going to open this. I'm going to take... I'm going in here. So we have a pretty piss item. And, okay, so, oh, no, not really. Uh, so we'll take both of those. I was just wondering if maybe I was going to eat something good. Okay. I got ten bombs, so I think looking for my secret room isn't mandatory, but it'd be stupid not to. Well, it's neither of those. Oh, shit. Is it over here? Is it connected to our item room? Ugh. I don't know if I'm slow enough that I'm comfortable uh, going for this. Not that I even... I don't think we've had a bad pill yet, though, so... That's a look. I'm not going to go for that other pill, just because I'm a scan. Uh, but our secret room can't be connected to either of those rooms. Could blow up those mushrooms and hope for some pills, but... I don't actually think I'm desperate. Oh my god, wait, where could our fucking secret room be? Can't be in that corner, can't be there, can't be there, can't be there. There's no other wedges. Like, I guess it could be, can it be in this room? It could be like, here. Where we almost knocked a troll. And it's not there. I mean, I guess by that logic, it could be in the next room too. Could we just take damage? Or I just like, imagine that ow. A bunch of fishies going on. I don't know. I I have no idea where that one was. Just truly bamboozled. Uh, let's not play ghost games. So many bombs. But I would rather have bombs and not need them than need bombs and not have them. Benjamin Franklin said that. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill all these flies because I know how badly I want them to hit me. Money. We didn't just get counterfeit. <sighs> Fuck it. 
I'm gonna be very sad because our shop was also worthwhile if we don't get any more keys. Keep forgetting that Triple Shot does not just overcome their armor because I think it should. Although with Feared Tears, it is nice because they will run away from you. Oh, fuck. If you ever just like fuck the mob trap room, you can just, you know, let them catch you and they will take you out of this room. Oh, that guy got predicted. More bombs, excellent. I needed those. Um, kind of. I can never remember if Faith Up increases your chance of deals with the devil or getting soul hearts. What the fuck? Go ahead now, in the back right there. Of course now we have like a bajillion bombs. Tinted rocks are just a legend. Uh, we need war here. If we don't get war as our boss, uh, our meat boy run is up in smoke. So we will actually, before we even fight the boss, we will do our best to clear the entirety of the floor. For hopes of the Book of Revelations inside of a library. Or our item. I can't remember. I swear in original Isaac, the Book of Revelations was actually in the shop sometimes. I know the Bible is in the shop in this one. I don't think the Book of Revelations ever is. Yeah. Defend me. We can blow our way to that chest. And hopefully not get hit in the process. Alright, what do you got? We got a key out of it. What did I say, baby? <laughs> what did I say? Um I love you, but I'm I'm taking the book with me because I really think we might get super meat boy on this. And if we do, because I don't think we have a conquest to screw it up, I think we have to get the Headless Horseman to not get Super Meat Boy, or we have to die. Which hopefully having this Book of Revelations will prevent. But we could get Meat Girl, that, or Bandage Girl, that could also screw it up. That is an equally valid way to not get this. I swear to God I'm not cheating, by the way. That was... 100% a guess. I was like, oh, maybe we'll get Boogie Revelations and then our fucking item room. Oh my goodness. I'm still not getting the secret rooms right, but I think I got the real guess that mattered right. I really need to not die here, though. I would really like a key for my shop because I really want a battery. Oh, the game wasn't listening when I said that. This isn't fair. They're cowering in front of their own hearts so that I can't hit them until the scare is gone. Is this tempted? No? Well, I'm still gonna blow them up because I want black ones. Well, I didn't get shit. Okay, there's our shop. Let's go ahead and go get it. I could pop the world card to see it. Does, I think the world card would show you if there's a green in your shop. Alright, uh, we buy the nun's habit 100% and we come back for that battery when we clear our next room. Uh, nun's habit obviously works very well with this, especially if we get some uh, red hearts going. So that we can play the uh, blood banks. Because I'm not buying the red candle. If, I don't know. One day we will do a candle run. Um, the problem is right now we're being characters who have space for items I like. And we got them their space for items I like. Alright, so pop the bullet. Um, in case you're wondering why all of a sudden I'm like jittery, it's because we do actually stand a chance at getting a fucking meat boy all the way. And I don't even have that achievement on my actual account. I keep saying account, it's my actual file. I'm gonna take that too. I really can't believe we got the book of revelations. Oh my god. I think, yeah, that would definitely be the first, if we get it, if we ever get Bandage Girl, that's the end. It's just, it no longer is possible. 
floors. This is the compost one. Oh, okay, good. We got war. So war just has to drop the meat boy. And then we have to survive to uh death. Oh, that was almost very stupid. Now the the downside is due to this, we are very unlikely to uh get any real HP to work with. But luckily the devil sign up. Okay, that's our third cube of meat. So, you know, I said that we hadn't talked about how that works. Well, I'm doing everything in my power right now to build up HP, by the way. So, this is our first time with three of either the cube of meat or the bandage. Um, so, at three, he gets a little body. So you lose an orbital, which is important to know, because sometimes that orbital is like, the best part. Oh wait, I just realized, uh, let us, because I have the magnet, so I can attract the uh, battery past the lock and just straight to me. Right? You serious? Oh wait, there we go. Yeah, give me little boy. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Um, but, let's see, there he goes, go get him. So he'll run up to an enemy. Actually, I don't know if they improved his damage or not. As far as I can tell, Bandage Girl is better than Meat Boy in every way. Um, I have bombs or keys. Ugh, that'll do it. I've got double bombs, so I'm definitely more likely to recover from that than... Oh, well then let's go open all those treasure chests, because we don't need 12 keys. Just might get a penny. Our second Bob's brain of the day. We will yet again abandon it. See, some of you though, you're saying if you were just taking Bob's brain, you'd have an, you'd have another item right now. And uh, for those people, fuck it, I'd probably be dead. We've had so little HP for most of this run. And uh, sorry, Book of Belial, I love you, but the temptation of a full meat boy is too much for me to pass up on this. Because I, I frown upon this achievement. But that doesn't mean I don't fucking want it. Oh shit. Right Let's stand back for a second. So that's Meat Boy's damage. It, it is not substantial. But as maybe Bandage Girl just does less damage. But everything she does has a chance to, uh, what's it called, to do like the love effect on your enemies. Just keep them trapped in the corner. I'm not used to the two bosses thing, I keep expecting a third boss. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, grab his head. Keep the book. Push. I don't really trust you. I pushed the chest away. Uh, but we'll take the luck up. And I'm not going to take another pill. Oh, and we got some charges from the Nun's Habit, which I absolutely forgot we had, but is... If we can get the wafer, I'd be a happy little panda bear. To say the least. To say nothing of the dog. Don't tell nobody, but I actually really like that book. It was sort of like, have you ever... Oh, fuck this room. What is this shit? How did the... Oh, because it's... I am fucking retarded. Also, oh, this is so easy. I'll just build a bridge over there and then go fuck up the hearts. It's a two-space gap, moron. Can't do that. Uh, I was hoping for another party copy if we're going to level with each other. Like, if we're going to take our relationship to the next level, you should know. Ooh, I want those options pretty bad. Even if it's now that I'm thinking about it, completely useless. All right, meat boy, don't worry. You don't have to contribute or anything. I was just teasing. Where the fuck is my guppy's head? Uh, holy water is trash, but it doesn't break you anymore. There used to be an issue. I don't even remember how it worked. I just remember it made it so you never want to pick up holy water. I'm taking damage. I didn't take damage. What? Are you kidding me? 
That was so cool. I need a key. I need a penny. All I need is a penny. I walked in. I don't know how the do hearts walk on the ground? Do they take creep damage. So up here. Small rock is awesome. It's a speed down and a damage up. But we don't care about our speed because we will just murder everything before it gets to us. We'll come back to that. Because I feel like the boss is that way, and I think we should just go ahead and clear our floor. As I avoid damage for once in the room with all of these guys. Damn. Now that we have keys, the game has decided to give us more keys. That's just how it works. For those of you who didn't know. I can't make that cup come away. Yeah, the boss is definitely there. Oh, uh, we have our 15 cents, but I am going to pick up there's options because I'm thinking if the game tried to give us Bandage Girl, we might get Meat Boy instead. So I'm going to take there's options. Because it... Technically, if you look at it from an everything is going to work out perspective, I've done nothing. Because mom is going to drop the Polaroid. And get greed. Wish we'd gotten him before I went to the shop, but what are you going to do? I need him, uh, I need him dizzy five so that I can just lock up him and destroy him. Get a Meat Boy. Meat Boy is actually really good for like greed where you can just sort of abandon him in the corner. I, I'm also going to say I'm very happy we took the Revelations, even if we weren't doing a, uh, if I wasn't going for the Meat Boy, I think it was still the best choice, because I think we've got a ton of HP out of bringing the book with us, and I don't think we really lost too much damage. Especially while we have the Nuns have it, I think that's pretty critical. I mean, we honestly have enough where we can, how did we not get a... I mean, especially because we got Nun's Habit, and Nun's Habit actually works with this. I'm also actually assuming we're going to get Krampus if we get another deal with the devil. Oh, I don't even know how I dodged that. We get hit again. I just need to not get stepped on. Pop the book. We're going up. We're taking the Polaroid. We're really wanting Krampus game. Uh, we'll take the mark. We'll leave the rest. So, honest to God, we could lose this run and I'd still be okay with it. We just need to remember not to enter the boss room. Unless... We have used the book already, because that will ruin us. My main goal is just to have nothing that can be brought back to me as it is my fault I didn't get the achievement. That's why I'm letting Meat Boy hunt this guy down. I'm looking to avoid damage. Meat Boy. I was about to say, good lord, man. You gotta pull some slack. Okay, there's our boss, which we will not be entering right now. We are going to go the exact opposite. It's a double wide. Can I fix that with Book of Revelations? I don't think I can. We're gonna find out. I've already seen the room though. Oh, that's iffy. I might cheat. Oh, that bad. Okay, there's the book. We may be cheating in a second. I might cheat to re-roll the floor. Let's see if that... Let's just go straight to our boss. And see if that changed it. It didn't. Are you kidding me? 
Let me be fair to you. I'll be right back. We're back. Okay. Let's hope this worked. Okay. <laughs> so what did I just do, you might be asking. I have... I have moved. Um, so I think once we saw it was a big room, the game could not not make it a big room. So I have exited the game completely. I control deleted. And when you do that, the game cannot keep your data for what you've done. It can only save the floor you just got to. Um, so I technically cheated. If anyone, if this works, I cheated to get this achievement, technically. But I'm also gonna say that was bullshit and I wanna get this. So, We'll see if this even works, because this might not work. It might really just be, oh, you got a... Like, you got that, that's too bad, because I, I can't change that. But I think if we don't see that it's a big room, it'll change. I'm not really sure how it works. Also, that was double cage room, and that's just bullshit. Like, just... You could have at least just made it... Fucking, what's his face, Fred? But I, I've come too far to not get this achievement without putting in maximum effort. Like I could have just rolled over and taken it, but I, uh, I was not willing to. I am willing to go as far as it takes to actually get an achievement that, in my opinion, we earned. We'll, we'll just save the boss for last, because if this doesn't fix it, nothing's going to fix it, so... There's no point trying to cheat anymore. This was the most I could do. We're only going to get one charge out of this. This is pretty ridiculous. I wonder if the drops are the same. If they are, I think this room will give us a spirit heart. This room doesn't give us a spirit heart. No, it did. Okay. Some things are in fact set in stone. So yeah, that's my theory is that this should work. Uh, I hope it works. I very much so would like Meat Boy. But I believe drops are already like saved. Like the fact that we got that spirit heart again means like if we do get death and he drops. Um, the bandage girl, I don't think that's something I can fix. We are at full HP now. That's nice. Oh, come on. Please work. Oh, there's another one. So I will say, I don't feel if... No, it didn't work. Damn. Oh well. That's why this is really just an impossible feat. Because there's just absolutely nothing I could do to make it work. So I don't even feel bad I tried to cheat because it didn't work. I don't know how this one is... What? I really don't care, Satan. You have nothing to offer me that I actually want. I'm really bummed out about this run now. I'm just gonna take these sides. I should have picked up one of the HP upgrades before I did that, but I just don't care. I'm bummed. That's bullshit. We should have had this achievement. I was so excited. Everything came together perfectly, and then the game just decided no. So, any of you who actually have this achievement, you're just a lucky bastard, because. The game just decided to screw me. And I don't even care if we won the run now. This run was going to be the Meat Boy run. I was going to name it Meat Boy. And it's just no. And the worst part is, there's an achievement for this and Bandage Girl. you got to get both if you want to 100% the game. That's just bullshit. 
I swear to God, he must have programmed it so that if you actually have the Book of Revelations, that just on womb one, you can't get it. I don't even know what I'm doing this. Be like here, if anything. Well, I was going to say you win some, you lose some, but I've never won some with this, so you lose some, you get your hopes up about an achievement you're never going to get. Yes, I am salty. Yes, I am bitter. But this is fucking horseshit. I frown upon your existence, Emma McMillan. See, it used to be simple. If you got the Book of Revelations, you got Meat Boy all the way. That was it. There were no tricks. There was no alternative thing to just ruin everything for you. Because I do believe the one other time... Someone might correct me on this. I might be full of shit. Well, that was good. And we don't have permanent polar invincibility. I really should have picked up that HP. But I mean, I'll just level with you. I was pissed off, and I was really thinking good. What was going to be, like, the best run ever? Just disappointment. And now, it's going to be even harder to get, because he's adding more bosses with the new thing. Like, I don't get how you're supposed to do this. It's just luck. Like, if someone has that achievement, it's not even like they did anything. It's just, hey, the game gave them what they needed. I mean, come on, man. That's just, that's just cool. We got a world card, I don't need this one. Cause I don't have anything to gain from it anyway, and I can kill all those larvae. I mean we are shooting triple size and that's pretty cool, but I don't care. I want a full meat boy. I was robbed. That's also something I would just like, is justification. You know, him to say, all right, well, maybe this is unfair. An admittance of just... Maybe this is how we expect you to get out those, like, 300 hours of gameplay that don't exist. Just... I don't know, he did a lot of stuff I don't really approve of. Like, I think the Lost as a whole was just stupid. I get it's supposed to be hard, and you don't really have to do it. But at the same time, it's just like, I suppose there are people who are just good enough that you can win with the Lost every time, but I mean, like that'd be the end of a Lost run. Pretty much as far as I'm concerned, people who want the Lost, I just assume they get uh, the Holy Shield on their first item room after they've already lost like 25 runs in a row. Because, I mean, I can probably beat the first couple of floors without taking damage. Because, you know, you do start out with flight and everything. But, I mean, you definitely don't start out strong if this is going to be a cakewalk. I mean, I would say, I guess deal with the devil are free, but you definitely at least start weaker than a Zazzle. I mean, honestly, what I would really do is probably just cheat. That's how I would unlock this stuff with the Lost. Alright, Meat Boy, this is, uh... Yeah, there you go. Just take your time. Here we go. Just keep moving. I mean, I guess our only real hope at least my only real hope is I don't think you can, but maybe we could get it on the chest. I don't know how, but that's just my hope. I think they also nerfed me boys' damage. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that I still don't have the achievement, like on normal Isaac, where I do have the achievement. I don't think you can actually ever get Krampus there. 
I'll level with you on that. Um, do we pop our world card here, or do we pop our world card on the chest? I'm just gonna pop it here. We got a dice room. Would I re-roll us? For your entertainment, yeah, I probably would. I mean, this run lost all meaning when we didn't get the meat boy. I'm just... If you were hoping that this run wouldn't just devolve into me bitching about how we didn't get the meat boy, I got bad news, because I'm, I'm pretty pissed. I'm also curious if there's actually supposed to be a way to dodge his feet. Not at that point. I You should dodge that one, but... I mean when he's just, like, randomly stomping. Alright, what you got? Two keys. Man, we're going to the chest. It's, it's appreciated. Well, actually, those two keys are going straight into our... Dice room down here. Oh, he's heading me out with pass. Oh, that fear was so lucky. It's a four. Four behaves as... I believe just a reroll. We taking you? Fair enough. There's no items on our floor. So I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, if I'm wrong and I just missed out on something fun, I apologize. But I'm fairly confident 4 is the, like, basically you D6 the floor. Because 6 is everything except 5. Because 5 is reroll the floor. Um, We have 33 keys. We don't need the chest picker. Maggie's faith is beyond worthless. Still a boss fight. People get in there. But I'll say, if I'm not gonna have you defending me, you sure as shit are gonna get in there. You know, the one thing I gotta say, even though I wish you could get deals with the devil on, like, the cathedral, I'm glad you don't, just because thematically it does make sense that the devil wouldn't show up in the fucking cathedral. Alright, well, Meat Boy's done doing his damage for the day, but. And you can probably see how much damage he does. It was probably inconsequential amounts, but you know, he did something. That's what I do a lot more of this level four. I really hope when you have the level four, it's just amazingly strong. Because if you can get the level four, you have defied the odds. And someone, if you know, do tell me, because I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly confident you can get, like, a bandage girl when you're working on getting Meat Boy. Alright, we're just gonna go to our chest. Uh, I'm not gonna bother fucking around. Yeah, there's nothing on the floor. I've, I've revealed the map. There's nothing. Okay. What we got? No curse, right? No curse. We got a big fan. We got the Ankh. We got the Mega Mush. We got the We'll take all of it. Uh, yes, technically with the Ankh we may die and come back as triple question mark, but at the same time, that's not actually that bad because then we would just get to skip the question mark question mark run and do another Judas run. And apparently Judas and Super Meat Boy are almost really good friends. I can remember, and I probably won't because Christ knows I'm going to upload this like eight months from now. I don't. Miter. Awesome. One day, our first item will be super fan, and we'll just... I think you actually used to have to get all the pieces in the that you unlock super fan. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Oh, hey, look. It's those assholes who actually bothered to show up. Where the fuck was death? It becomes even harder the longer you play, because once you've unlocked conquest, it feels like half the time you get conquest as your boss, instead of war. But I don't think we have Conquest yet. Uh, other ways it can fuck up that I know are over who it is. It's that asshole. They just show up and give me a goddamn cube of meat. Fuck. Let's take that. 
well. I mean, this this is one. Our damage is solid. We're shooting three gigantic scythes at our foes. Um, very amazing. The game is rubbing it in. They're just rubbing it in. All I'm gonna fight are horsemen. I know there are rooms where we haven't fought horsemen, but shut the fuck up. I didn't mean to be that rude. I feel very insulting. I'm sorry. Uh, I will do everything in my power to somehow get that third meat boy cube. Jeez, I should probably save him for last. Fuck, slot. You are not supposed to be there. Box of spiders. It's a box of spiders. Let's get some spiders. I gotta stop shooting him. They always put him in the middle though, because he's the one you don't want to kill, but he's the one they don't want you to have live. Alright. I should get it. The card. The card. The tower. Not what I need. Buddy, I can't move right now. Great as your little stompy stomp attack is. We actually do a lot of damage. He stomped five times, by the way. Shooting bastard. I'll tell you this much, I don't think you'll ever see more chests in the chest than when you don't have keys. Why do I even do that? Do we have missing now yet? Not missing now, uh... Error? Or undefined? If we can get undefined, our possibility of getting the meat boy goes up slightly. I'm really not sure if you can get the meat boy in the chest. Like a cube of that really true. That might be just exclusive. Let's just go ahead and kill our boss. And then those of you who just want to see if I win or not can leave, and then I will explore the rest of this floor on my own time. I mean, you'll you can still be with me while I do it. It's just I don't know. I don't know who the fuck would watch this and be like, I just want to know if he wins or not. I mean, I think we won way back. You know, Meat Boy's honestly better at fighting this one than Isaac, because he doesn't leave the screen permanently. Yeah, of course I'm not stopping. Uh, who gives a shit? If I really hated question mark, question mark, question mark, which I don't, so I'm not going to bother. But if I did, I would kill myself now. Like, I would find a room with a fire or something, clear out the rest of the floor, kill myself, and come back with Blue Bay just to skip the process. Tower again. Alright, that's our, like, eight tower cards. Mm -hmm. One of you should be dead. What was that? We didn't have concussive shots anymore that the game is freaked out. In my secret room. This was a long run. Awesome, I was one and a quarter. He didn't give you the quarter, but it did. Hey look, it's that boss room that cost us the goddamn meat boy. Okay, here comes Tum Tom. But I'm not gonna cheat our way to the QQQ victory because I don't think he's that bad. I I won't say he's my favorite character, but I mean, I definitely think there's worse. It is Lazarus. And who gives a shit about Lard? Is that our floor? That's our floor. Well, I'll still try and find our super secret room. Only got 39 bombs to do it with. I'm really trying to think if there's some way I can actually squeeze another chest out of this. I could... I don't really think there's a way. It's not that I can think of. 
that our super secret room could yield us. No, there is one way. And we do have a thing that increases. If we had a luck foot, it'd be more likely. If we could get. No, I don't think passage would work. I'm not sure. So if we get the passage room. There we go. What did we get? That's going to be a jack shit. Well, one of these could be telepills, so I'm going to take them both. We got nothing. Well, that was a waste of time, and honestly, it was a good chest, but it wasn't a very bountiful chest. Um, we got six items, I think. We got our four, and then I think we got we got that lard. But there we go, we win. I said we win. What does that give us? We already got Juice's shadow. Oh, this must be his trinket. What is Juice's trinket? It's not the curved. Is it the curved horn? What did we get? What did we get? Did we get anything? Did I not need to do that? No, I did need to do that. So what did I get? Did I get nothing? Hold up. Just hold up, everybody. They actually did a really good job on this wiki, because like you just do characters and it just lists all the characters and where all of them unlock for doing shit. I think I think I remember this. I think Judas whatever he unlocks for you, you can get in another way. Judas. Yeah, for beating the chest you're supposed to get the left hand, but you also get the left hand from beating Super Pride. So I should have killed myself, because I got nothing out of this. So who's left now? Q Q and E. So next time we'll do Trip Q and we'll end with E. And then we go to hard mode, which is when we'll just sort of do whatever. Uh, I won't try and keep any order, nothing like that. It'll just be, uh, what am I feeling about? Which means basically a lot of Isaac and a lot of Eden runs. Although I will try and play through everyone sort of in an order. Just so that I can try and get uh, boss rushes. Although we already have one. I think we have four boss rushes. Three, four. Oh, we have five. Uh, but the next time I play, I'll probably get one more game in before the update. But, um, God, I'm so close. But the next time I play, it may be the new expansion. So it might, everything might change. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. So let's play the Binding Guys of Rebirth and Buckethoff. Bye bye.